And you may have heard someone call this a triple demic of sorts, and it's when there are high cases of COVID, flu, and other respiratory viruses. Channel 2's Lori Wilson talked with one family battling the flu. He definitely had a cough and was sneezing. Um, nausea, he threw up. When Whitney Threat's 10-year-old son said he didn't feel well, her first move was to give him his normal medicine. Drowning him in water and Pedialyte. Um, I did a lot of at-home tea. When that didn't help and he started having body aches and chills, she took him to the doctor and found out he had the flu. We haven't had a bad flu season in a number of years because of COVID. People have stayed home, wore masks. Grady Memorial Hospital's chief medical officer, Dr. Robert Jansen, says this winter they're bracing for a triple-demic. High cases of the flu, COVID, and viruses like RSV, too, something doctors have already seen in other countries. I anticipate that we're going to see that here, the degree of which we don't know. Um, but what I do know is we can minimize it. Minimize the risk of getting extremely sick through vaccination. Whitney also came down with the flu. Her symptoms so severe, she had to go to the hospital. She and her son were both vaccinated against COVID, but hadn't gotten their flu shots. Doctors say this is a fight to stay healthy that requires all vaccines. We know that COVID is going to be back. What can you do to prevent a serious illness? Get vaccinated. Whitney says she and her son will get the flu vaccine and eventually get back on their feet. It feels weird not to be able to do anything for yourself, so that's kind of emotionally, like, damaging. Um, sorry. Lori Wilson, Channel 2, Action News. Dr. Jansen adds, while the infection rate for all three has gone up significantly, the number of people who need to go to hospitals is down, and he attributes that to vaccinations.